right, here we go. Round one, Giovanella versus Santos. The opening bout of Proving Grounds here at CES. I'm joined live by my broadcast partner, Scott Ream, the man with more nicknames than Apollo Creed. That's the truth, my friend. What are we going with tonight, American Dream? No, no, that would be bad. <laughs> oh, he ate the knee on the way in. But he's, he climbed the top of the fence, he's doing nice. You can see where Gilvin just closed his guard there. Great takedown by Giovanella early on in the opening round. See, Gilvin's in his own corner and he's actually listening. You can see his head turn to listen to his corner. <laughs> and it's probably the smart thing to do at this point. Well, Billy's working fairly, you know, fairly well from top. He's not really throwing any, any dangerous punches. He's looking for control. He has his hand wrapped around his lower back. It's a wrestling thing. He's trying to feed the other hand to it. Gilbert's doing a nice job of fighting him off and striking off his back. Again, he's basically, Gilbert has a Billy locked down, hand across the back of the neck just to try to control his posture. And you know, for somebody known primarily for a stand-up, Santos is doing a nice job defending while on his back, something we didn't, haven't really seen much of in his career. It shows that he went back to the drawing board with some stuff. You know, if you don't start working on your weak points, then they'll be exploited very easily, especially inside the cage. Well, certainly you would suspect that he did work on that after the result against Sukumta in February, and we're seeing a little bit of that here as nice Giovanelli gets that early Billy. takedown. Yep. You know, he made a nice pass to side control. Now he's trying to control his hips, but you can see Gilvin doing a, a really good job of making life miserable for him. It looks like he's recovered half guard now. Two minutes into round number one. So far, all Billy Giovanella with the early takedown, but Gilvin Santos doing a nice job not letting him really establish anything, despite the fact that he has him mounted for the better part of this opening round. Yeah, he had a, right now you can see that scramble he's coming up and Billy's jumping on a standing guillotine. Can't really tell if it's in deep enough. It doesn't look it. No, anyway. Santos does up. slip out of it. Now we're both back on our feet. 2.45 to go in round number one. And we'll see if Santos can now get back to his comfort zone on his feet again. Watch for those kicks. You know they're gonna come at some point. There it is, nice real leg just trying to find some distance. He wants to throw something now just to keep him busy. He's trying to bounce on his toes to get some rhythm. But he keeps his hands very, very low. They're waist high, almost like a karate. That's why that overhand right landed, and again, straight blitz to the cage for the takedown. Nice job by Billy. Yeah, Giovanella shoots in again with a takedown. And I'm I gonna call him Billy because I won't get Giovanella out very often. You don't know the Italian names, huh? Sitting next to me all this time, I thought you'd learn your Italian vernacular. <laughs> I'll butcher it. I know I'm in Providence, so I have to, I'm in Rhode Island, I have to pronounce it. That's right. Two minutes to go in round one. It seems like uh, Giovanella is sort of timing those leg kicks and, and he knows to expect it from Santos and he's making his move at the yeah, right time. That's a good point and that's what he's doing. So when he throws that rear leg, when Santos throws that rear leg, he's a little bit off balance. What Billy's trying to do is either beat him to it or meet him in advance. And again, he got the takedown. It was a small overhand right and he rushed him into the cage and he's doing really well from his guard. You know, you can see Santos has an open guard. He's working, but uh, Billy's doing a really good job controlling his hips and, and is uh, throwing some light shots in there. He's really not gonna get much power on him until he starts to posture. Santos certainly in no imminent danger at this point, but this round has been all Giovanella, and that will play a factor if this nice goes the distance. Switch. And as we know, Giovanella's fights tend to do, do tend to go three rounds. One minute to go in this opening round again, Giovanella pressing Santos against the cage. Santos doing a good job at keeping his hips out and trying to create some kind of uh, scramble. But uh, Billy did a fantastic job. He looked like he was about to get swept, and he transitioned very well back to guys. And you can hear his corner, you can hear Santos's corner telling him to get off the cage and, uh, and try to, right now where his head's pinned up against the base of that cage, he has nowhere to retreat. And what Billy's gonna try to do is get his hips up high so he can't move them. It's almost locking them in from a higher standpoint. Well, let's look out for it. Got plenty of time, 30 seconds to go in round number one. He's stacking them right there for the pass. And he, nice job by Santos not to allow that to happen. Billy G. Vanella is doing a really good job with the short punches. He's not, it's not damaging, but he's keeping them busy and exactly. you know, it's letting them know they're there. And if he works that midsection, possibly get him to drop his arms at some point. Yeah, I, I don't think enough up, guys yeah. do that. I don't think enough guys throw body punches from the guard. 
All right. We are done. Round one number one of the books. Billy Giovanella versus Gilvin Santos. So far, it's all Giovanella. An impressive opening round for the pro debut fighter. Scott, if you're in Gilvin Santos' corner, what are you telling him right now? What's the advice you give him coming into round number two? Don't stand still in front of, of in front of his opponent. He's allowing that blitz to take place. If he stands still to throw his strikes, he's wide open for that takedown because he's not moving his feet and not making it hard to be caught. All right, we're ready for round number two of the opening bout of Proving Grounds. Billy Giovanella from Bellingham, Mass, taking on Gilvin Santos from Framingham, Mass, fighting out of the Dragon's Lair. And we'll see if Gilvan takes your advice. Well, he just, you know, he threw a, a very lazy kick, but just something to, to move. Now he's moving, he's not standing quite in front of him, so Billy's, and again, the there second he stood still. Billy throws one punch. He's doing a great job of setting up his takedown. Rather than just shoot the takedown and miss, he's throwing his hands first, setting it up with his hands. Well, certainly Santos's takedown defense has been lacking thus far in this round, and we've seen it three times. Every time Giovanella has shot and he has succeeded with the takedown. And here we are again, the same spot we've been most of round number one. We'll see if this time maybe Giovanella can do something different to maybe end the fight prematurely. So it's been very like tough. To Santos has done a nice job defending. He's done a great job defending, and you can see his improvement there. What I think what Billy might need to concentrate on more than anything else is position. Position first. Like right now, he's making a nice job passing and starting to improve. He went from guard to half. Only thing is, right now, Billy's back's against the cage from this position. That's not something you want. You prefer your opponent to be stuck into that cage. That yeah, could be tough if Santos can flip him, but it doesn't appear it's going to happen. He's trying to throw. You can see his hips, his guard's open. It allows his hips to work and, and attacks his submissions. But I'd like, to, I'd like to see Billy try to work to pass. Get a good, firm pass, good position, and then start working. Three and a half to go in round number two. And again, Giovanella dominating on the ground. Santos really hasn't had any ability to showcase his stand-up game. Giovanella has kept it on the ground, which is where he wants it. Well, That's I think I think you're right, but at Santos, if he had the stand-up, he's not utilizing it. Right. He's not getting off first. He's not initiating the action, and, and that's where you want to do it. You want you want to play the fight to your strengths, and he seems to be a, a little slow in doing it. I agree. Some of those kicks by Santos were kind of just show me kicks, where he really wasn't executing, just kind of that's showcasing it. Yeah. And it seemed to remind me of what Taj Tell did against Doomsday Howard late in that second round of that fight. Kind of just went, you know, a bit of a lazy kick, and Doomsday shot and took him down, and it was all she wrote at that point. And, and that seems to be the reason why Santos is in so much trouble here. If you don't, if you don't make those kicks hurt, your opponent's not going to respect them. Your opponent's just going to charge right in and, and walk right through them. So if, if Billy's not respecting uh, those kicks, he's going to make like they're not there. Giovanella is showing a few flashes of some body punches. So you'd like to see him work it a little bit more here, Scott? i just like to see him improve his position. You see how his head's down and his, and his rear end's high. Right. So he's not, he's trying to get some kind of posture to throw punches. Here I'd like to see him kick his hips forward and then bring down punches. But he's staying in, Billy. Billy's staying in, Santos is God. And there's, there's only so much you can do. There's very few people. Looks like Santos is trying to go for a guillotine now. Hey, he might get something locked in here. Doesn't appear too deep. And he's only so got the one hand on yeah. it, so it's more of a head control right now. Giovanella did kind of tread in some dangerous waters when he did stand up, and Santos was throwing those kicks from his backside, which can always be dangerous with a kickboxing champion. Absolutely. You, you don't want to get up kicked. I mean, that, that'll put you right back down. But you can see where Santos is controlling the head, but he's not attacking the neck here. So what, what I'd like to, I mean, you can see the posture. He can't get his head up. If your head's not up, you're not getting any power on your punches. I'd Santos like, it momentarily had momentum there, and it's kind of... It was fleeting. Yeah, it was yeah. definitely fleeting. He, he made a made an attempt at something. I, it was just a headlock to slow him down. 
Now he's looking to roll out. Santos tried to roll through, uh, roll through that pass. Billy looks like he's trying to land this arm bar. And there it is. Oh, he almost had it. Now he's out. Great job by Santos to change that position. He was close. It looked he like he, uh, he winced in a bit of pain. I thought he was about to tap. Instead, he just sort of banged on the rib cage, and Giovanella turned it back over. And now, maybe try to get a guillotine here, but it doesn't appear he's got it deep enough. He's looking for a, he looked at it one moment, and he was looking for a 10-finger guillotine, but that wasn't there. You can see Santos reach under and try to control his chin, but Billy's doing a pretty good job of defending that. He's just not advancing out of the guard. And Santos looks for an open to get back up and does a nice job with it. Halfway to his feet, 25 seconds to go. Giovanella trying to pick him up and slam him right back down. Santos now has a chance to work those knees. Santos needs to stuff, second, yeah. yeah, he needs to stuff his head and get out, and Billy just took him right back down. Closing seconds of round number two again, all Billy Giovanella, a couple of decent transitions for Gilvan Santos, but not quite enough here. As we end round number two, we're gonna head into the third and final round. So far, all Bill, Billy Giovanella in his pro debut. Well, Scott, we're in between rounds two and three of this opening bout, and maybe Gilvan Santos has a little momentum, maybe a little bit of something to build on. He did a nice job escaping a couple of those holes. He allows himself to get taken down again, especially early in the first yeah. round. We're gonna see the same thing. Uh, why, Billy's winning this fight. He shouldn't, if this is working for him, why stop doing it? Well, we'll see if Santos puts a little more emphasis behind those kicks. At the very least, you gotta make him respect it, like you said in round number two. So here we go, round three, third and final round of this opening bout, all Billy Giovanella thus far. This is where Santos should be throwing a jab. This is where he should be throwing something. Right now, he's not throwing anything. And Do something that the opponent's not expecting. I think he's expecting the kicks. There's some shots. Finally, that's the first rush we saw. Billy goes underneath, and you look at Gilvin st stuffs him. Almost had a chance to catch him on the way up. Exactly. A lot of times when an opponent's coming up off the canvas, he leaves himself open. I thought he glanced him briefly with the left hook. Again, we go right back to the mat. That was the first time that I saw Santos do anything. Nice job escaping that. First time where he was really the aggressor to come out of the round. The punches and kicks he threw had nothing on them. Right. Almost out of range. He actually yeah, put some leather on, on Billy and that. That was a nice job. He needs to do it again. He needs to do it right now. I agree. Right now is the time. You don't have much to go on. You only have four minutes left, and so far you're down two rounds. Probably going to need a submission or a knockout. Nice I think it goes without saying. But there's I, another I, takedown, yeah. He threw the flying knee just, just to attack, and you have to realize if you're going to stay that close to him, Billy's done nothing but take you down. If you see here, Billy's trying to feed his hand underneath Santos, feed Santos his own hand. He's been trying this all fight underneath his own back. And if he can actually hold it with his opposite hand, it's Gilbert's, it's Gilvin's right hand is going to be held by Billy's right hand underneath Santos' back. This should allow him to pass and start throwing wide open shots with his left hand. It really limits what Giovanella can do, yeah. You can, see, you can see his hand underneath and he lost it. Well, certainly not for a lack of effort, but giovanello has been tough on the ground. Santos, again, doing a nice job defending as best as he can at this point, but he's got to get back on his feet, Scott, if he's going to have any He's not going to do it with the closed guard, Mike. Yeah. You're 100% right, but if his guard's closed, he's not looking to get up. He's not looking to attack. When your guard's closed, you, you, can't, you can't work your hips. More or less looking to survive. Exactly. You're trying else. to slow it down yeah. and, and survive. And even right now with an open guard, he needs to start moving his hips one side or the other and trying to find a way out. 2.45 to go in this fight. Barring a knockout or surprise submission, Billy Giovanella should cruise to his first win, but a lot can change in two and a half. We've seen it in the you past. You never really. want to leave a fight to the judges. Lord knows <laughs> what the right. judges see. We just saw that a couple of weeks ago. If in you Las say Vegas. Pacquiao, I swear <laughs> to God, I'm out of here. 
Nice, now Billy just made a nice transition to the mount. Now he should be able to start doing some damage. And now we get that full mount, see if he can land some blows, soften up that defense, but Santos does a nice job. Although he's, this could leave both He's looking for worse. rear naked yeah. right now. He has one hook in, he should go to body lock. Although Billy's trying to get the second hook in. I would have just went to body lock, but now he'll try to flatten him out and stretch his neck. He lost the rear naked. It's too bad that he went for the hooks right away. Grab the choke first and then work your hooks. Santos has an opportunity now if he just keeps that chin tucked to turn it over. Rear naked's high, he doesn't have the neck here, it's more of a crank. Yeah. That arm, that forearm really isn't under the neck, at least not from this angle. But you can see the arch of Santos's back, that's good hip pressure on Billy's part, trying to pull that, pull that chin yeah. up to get his arms underneath. Now you're gonna see, yep, you're gonna see Gilvin try to walk the cage to reverse this. He's halfway there, 122 to go in the fight. This is relieving the pressure off his neck. This is stopping Billy from pushing his hips into his back and arching him by, by uh, Gilvin staying on the cage like that. Nice job turning it over, using the cage. That's a, that's a really slick move. Let's see if Santos it can do like something here in this final minute. Just threw a big punch and it couldn't tell from this angle how well it landed. But now you're looking at him work from the top position. Yeah, and you can see how much time, but you can see much busier that Gilvin is from the top position. He's not looking to go belly to belly. He's looking to land punches. And he passed awkwardly, but he passed a side control now north south. Billy's doing a pretty good job scrambling. He grabbed the grabbed an arm. I don't think he has a submission there, but it's a actually you know what this is? <laughs> Call this a pretzel. You're not sure which turns to which. Santos trying to pull out all the stops in the closing minute of this fight. I think the sense of urgency passed. has sunk in. Yep. This is the first strong position Billy's had, full side control, and he allows Gilvin to get right back to his knees and work his way up. Gilvin should go for a cross face and work up from here. He's back to his feet, but it looks like he might be going for a ride if Billy can pick him up. And that would all but end it. Room. And that is it, folks. Three rounds in the books in the opening bout of Proving Grounds, and it's all Billy Giovanella in his pro debut. A nice effort toward the end by Gilvin Santos, but a little bit, a little too little bit, uh, too late, Scott, in this one. Oh, yeah, good now. So we'll see, see what the judges that have. That was enough but to even take that round. No, that definitely round not. I think, I think Giovanella still dominated the majority of that round. I got it three rounds to zero. We'll see how the judges score it. Any in further just a reference to the Pacquiao fight, I, I will leave the building. All right, we should have a decision momentarily in this opening bout be between Billy Giovanella and Gilvan Santos. And again, Scott, both you and I saw it the same way. Yeah, All absolutely. Billy Giovanella. Let's send it down to our ring announcer, Bill Carpenter, with the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, having completed the scheduled distance of three five-minute rounds, we'll go to the judges' scorecards for your official decision. And we have a split decision. <laughs> Judge Paul Asmar scores the bout 30 to 27, Giovanella. Judge Ed LaMontagne scores the bout 29 28, Santos. And Judge Mike Barker has the bout 30 to 27 for your winner by split decision, Billy the Wolverine, Giovanella.